mutumin da ba shi da lafiya dan baya cikin tsaron musulunci baya cikin wato ainihin tsaron rayuwa a abin da nake so in so ka ce a gurguje a wannan daidai wannan lokaci game da abin da ya shafi wato abin da nake so in magana a yanzu a gurguje masu bibiye da mu a daidai wannan lokaci shine a game da abin da ya faru na kona wani mutum da ya zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko shakka babu duk duniya babu wato ainihin mutum da Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya daraja ta yamma wato ainihin falala irin fiyayen halitta annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam a abu na farko da nake so in ja hankalin mutane game da daukan mataki ga abin da ya shafi ko hukunci kan wa'inda suka yi irin wannan batanci ga annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko kuma suka yi a wani abu makamantan haka na farko kamar yadda musulunci ya tsara musulunci ya tsara idan an samu mutun da laifi ana so a bincike sanan bayan bincike a tabbatar da hukuma ne za ta hukunta shi ba mutane ga magari su hukunta shi ba illan a hikimar da yasa aka bukaci cewa ba a so mutane su rika daukan doka a hannun su ba a san mutane su rika daukan doka a hannun su shine wato hikimar shine shine gujema gujema wato ainihin gujema wato ainihin abkama wanda bai jo bai gani ba game da wato abin da ya shafi laifi ko kuma hukunci yanzu misali idan yanzu misali musulunci ya bar cewa duk wanda ka gani misali a matsayi a ce duk wanda aka ce ya zagi annabi ko ina nuna wanda ce ya zagi manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko ehe ma hawo mu rufe shi da duka makashe shi ba ta da mai bincike ba da karshe kaga zai iya zama an bude wata kofa na wato ainihin idan mutun ya ga yana jin haushin wani ko kuma yana da wata kullaliya da wuri zai haifar masa da matsalin inda inda ya ganshi in ya ga dama in yana so ya batar da shi cikin sauri sai ya ce wane ya zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam a gabana ya zagi annabi to a daidai wannan lokaci kaga mutane za su yi cha a kansa su far masa da karshe za su kashe shi alhali abin da yake zargin shi da shi ba haka bane kawai illa iya ka yana jin haushin shi ne masa kazafi cewa ya zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam to kaji hikimar da yasa ba a san ko wayar ka daukan doka a hannu a ake so mutane su wato ainihin rika bin diddigi sannan su ba ma abu hukuma su wato ainihin sakin ma hukuma al'amarun hukunci a hannunta domin ita hukuma ke da haƙin tabbatar da shin wannan mutum ya zagi annabi ko bai zaga ba to amma abin da ya kai ga shi kuma mutane yanzu suka kai ga daukan mataki da hannun su gaba da wanda ya zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine hukuma ita ta bude wannan kofar da mutane za su rika daukan mataki a hannun su wanda a halal haqiqa irin wannan kofar da hukuma ta bude kuskure ne mai girman gaske bai kamata hukuma ta bar irin wannan abin da tafiya ba abin da ya kamata shine hanyar da za a bi a magance irin wannan daukan doka a hannu shine duk wanda aka san an kama ala ayi har yana da kyau a ce hukuma tana wato ainihin daukan mataki yanzu misali mutane nawa ne a Najeriya wanda aka kama da sun zagi manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanda ta tabbata shedu sun tabbata kuma wasu da kansu sun yi ikrarin cewa sun amsa laifin sun zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam amma da karshe sai a samu wasu kungiya maqiya addini maqiya manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam su zo su goya mu wannan mutumin da ya zagi annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam baya su yi ta kokarin aita daga shari'an daga karshe sai gwamnati ta watsi da shari'an mutuncin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam shari'an mutuncin manzo Allah sai gwamnati ta watsi da shi ko ba wai a da suna muna da jagorori musulmai wanda wai su ne mabiya manzon Allah amma sun kasa wato ainihin ba ma annabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam kariya wannan abun kunya wannan abun takaici ne wannan abun Allah wa daine ga duk musulmin da zai bari ana taba mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba zai dauki mataki ba to ala ya hal in dai har hukuma ba za ta rufa wannan kofar ta raka daukan mataki ba to ina rantse muku da Allah daukan mataki a hannu yanzu aka fara shi mu yanzu ba za mu zargi wa'inda suka kashe mutumin da ya zagi manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a wannan mataki hasali muna ya ba musu in dai har ta tabbata muna fata abin da suka yi hukunci akan ya zama daidai dan gaskiya ba zai yi muna kallo ba domin rashin daukar matakin da yake sa kowa da ya bushi iska sai dura ma annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam zagi saboda ya san ba abin da za a masa da an taso illa harka ce ta kotu 
illa iya ka harka ce ta kotu koyo ana yin ta da an ji an kai shi kotu ya sha kungiyoyi da yawa maƙiya addini zasu taso su bashi kariya to a irin wannan batakin tun daga gwamnati ba za ta yi kare mutuncin mazala ba wallahi ina fada ba yadda za a yi kaga wanda ya zagi manzon Allah ido da ido a gaban ka imanin ka bai kista maka cewa ka kashe shi ba to shi yasa muna a wannan matakin magana na farko da nake so in kenan sai magana ta ta biyu shine a mun san sahara report reporters sahara reporters ta dauki wannan ruhota ta sa a shafinta wanda da yawa daga cikin wasu kiristoci kiristoci suka tashi suka yi ta rubuce rubuce kuma dama da biyu sahara reporter ta dauko wai an kashe wani mutum a jaha daga cikin jihohin Najeriya na Arewa wai dan saboda ko ya zagi Annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam daga cikin comment din da maƙiya Allah suka yi ta a wannan lokacin shine da nan bu comment din wanda yasa ban iya ƙara su bun comment ba saboda bakin ciki a cikin comment din har da hadawa da zagin Annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam suka zagi Annabi sarran su ba zan iya fadan kalman zagin da suka masa ba amma abin da su daya daga cikin abin da suka yi ta kafa hujja da shi wai suna cewa kristoci na sa cewa these people don't value life muslim they used to value life musulmai ba sa daraci rayuwa musulmai ba sa daraci rayuwa no no aka kace daga cikin mutane daga cikin wa'inda suke dalili na siyasa ne how many people they have killed for just interest uh, political interest how many people to me yasa ba su yi magana akan abin da ake yi ba na kashe kashe akan abin da ya shafi siyasa ko idan wani ne kamar misali wannan yana PDP wance yana APC a kashe mutum ko idan yana adawa da wani duka wannan bai zaman to cewa lashin valo din rayuwa bane sai dan an kashe mutum saboda ya zagi manzo Allah saboda ya zagi manzo Allah su na na wasu ka kashe just ya zama tare da a kashe a jahar oyo ubadan what just eh uh, menene ake kira uh, tribalism kuma duka wannan abin a kashe to kill people for just uh, political interest or tribalism duka wannan in kai gadarin nashi ba zai taba kwatan kwatan kiman manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam bai kai ba a wato annabi ne kadai in an dauki mataki akan sa yake zama cewa ba a value din rayuwa ba amma idan an kashe mutum dan dan wani din kai yayi no no ne how many people they have arrest for just insulting president no no ne how many people they harass many people for just what for just insulting president or governor but it is a mistake to arrest someone or a person for just insulting prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's a mistake to you for killing someone for insulting prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but it's not a mistake to kill someone or to kill or to arrest someone for just what insulting insulting president or governor but it's a mistake to kill someone for insulting muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why now tilka isam kismatun diza this is injustice it's not a justice an nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya fi kowa dole muslimi saboda we don't have anything you can you can compare anything with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you can compare anything with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba yadda zai ka hada wani da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba yadda zai ka hada wani da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam saboda mu in ka cire annabi babu addini how to ya ake so ai in an kama an ce mutu ya zagi annabi ko an kama shi annan za su taso annan za su taso this is injustice it's not good so wani yana iya daukan mataki you can take action to someone that insult insult your father or your mother or your hero what is the mistake someone to take action for who installed prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why is this justice or injustice is this justice or injustice our religion show us 
to make injustice between Christian and Muslim, between everybody, to everybody. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Walajri manna kumishan anu qawmin ala Allah ta'adilu, i'idilu huwa akrabut li taqwa. Karka balik yayyam wali. Yasa ka imasa adalchi, kui adalchi. Shini kusada surang Allah anja Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This message is to Christian. Christian that used to damage or to condemn this action. What will you do when somebody insult Jesus? Can you be happy? Can you be glad? Can you be glad? You can be glad. When somebody insult prophet of God, like Jesus, we can be glad. But you are, you are rejoicing when somebody insult prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, And you are denying and you are rejecting the action. Why? And you can't reject the action for who insult your father or your hero. President, just president, when you insult a president, you can't be allowed to be, to live free, to live free. They must arrest you. They must take concrete action on you. So this is message to Christian and my brother Muslim, brother and sisters, we will not agree and we will not accept and we will not tolerate all this nonsense. And we are supporting to take action for who insult Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shisa faza ziki pata chikim baitan sa. Malaikatul Rahman kalad bi fadlihi wa hannat kama hannal muhibbu li waslihi. حرام على الأيام إيجاد مسلم حرام على الأيام إيجاد مسلم حرام إني ما كان كصمد إيرمان زال الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. you Christian we know you can we know you don't have anything to compare with Jesus you don't have anything to compare with Jesus because you are following Jesus Christ and you love Jesus Christ. And you don't want anybody to insult Jesus Christ. The number one thing that you love is Jesus Christ. When someone now just start insulting Jesus Christ in social media and he come to your place and insult him Jesus Christ, what action can you can you take? This is message to the Christian. Our religion is the religion of justice, not injustice. Not anybody can tolerate someone to insult his hero. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. She said, Allah ibn Taymiyyah, tinda ake dhulia hakayyo ba ataba samu wana maala midi yirubu ta litapi. Gamada mutinchin kari ya mutinchin mwanzang Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama Kamei ibini temi yaba Bata waba Yaziga wana letapo Wanna sari mbasuluni Ala shati mrasu Zarara ntaku bigaya majini na uchi Gamada wanda yiza ya mwanzang Allah Waisi che wai lepi ni wai Wai muta nang musulmi basa darash tarayiwa Akan kwe anza ya mwanzang Allah we are kanshini za tada jiji yungu ya hara kashamutu ama za iya kashamutu sabu da yaza jikushu kabanga sa kuwa akulish ana kisa sabu da kabilin kabilin chinka ya ranka anyaki anyi fatan kabilin chinka an kashamutu ane sabu da kabilin chinka laka hata kabilin chinka butun chinka mazala an kashamutu ane sabu da raka yin siyasa kwe sabu da wani ya insulti nungwani hero na asha siyasa zi jie sa vuka ya kashishi Duk wannan ba rashin valo din rayuwa bane sai dan mun kashi wanda ya zagi manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saboda haka gwamnatin ta dauma taki bala mai tolerate din cin mutuncin manzon Allah ko a ina ba in a internet ka ce mutuncin manzon Allah in muna da inda zamu je mu same ka mu hukunta ka sai mun je 
gwamnati ta dauma taki wajen ganin cewa ta zafafa har shekan cewa a hukunta wanda ya ci mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallama yanzu wannan littafin ibn taymiya hatta yan bid'a da ba sa sai ibn taymiya wanda ya rubuta wannan littafin wallahi sun yi ba masa game da kokarin da yayi wajen rubuta littafin dan kare mutuncin annabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallama wa saboda haka jama'a wanda yana daga cikin sakon da muke aikawa muna jinjina mu wanda suka wannan kisa mu wallahi idan gwamnati bata dau matakin daukan mataki doka a hannunta ba to ba yadda za a ta hana mutane daukan doka a hannun su wajen taba mutuncin manzon Allah mun yadda jijjinin mu ya zaba in dai akan manzon Allah ne mun yadda jijjinin mu ya zaba in dai akan manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saboda haka wannan shine sakon da ke aikawa na dan yin shi da turanci duk da am not ba wai ina kwararre bane a harshen turanci amma na san sakon su yafi isa sai sana ishi in gawo sa saboda kowa wa'in da ba sa jan hausa su ji abin da nake fadi you can't tolerate this wallahi you not tolerate this abadan ba za mu taba yadda wani ya taba mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam aka baba amfanin rayuwa mu inda za bari ana taba mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wannan shine sakon mu kuma muna so sako ya isa ya dai mutane a kiyaye duk wanda za a ji a ci a kashe manzon Allah ya 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 zagi manzon Allah ku lalle ku raka bincike da kyau saboda kar wata rana a ji a kashe wanda bai ji ba bai gani ba wannan kai shine sakon da nake so in aika a kai tsaye a daidai wannan lokaci zuwa ga mabiya wannan shafi na bin alqasim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nake da kai mana tawfiqi ya datar da mu ya wato ainihin kara kare mana manzon mutuncin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallama mu duniyar ma ta watse gaba daya ta kare ta tas da ta taba mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam muna shirye mu mutu inda aka mu annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallama this is an open letter to christian we are ready to die for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are ready to die just what just to protect prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam This is our policy. This is our choice and this is the way that we wanted to be. We are ready to anyone. We are ready to deal with anyone who insult Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Anybody that insult Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we are ready to deal with him. You should better know you can't tell out of this nonsense. Sahara reporters Sahara reporters this an open letter again to Sahara reporters We are seeing what you are posting anything about Islam you used to damage it and to make it upside down to counter all this nonsense We have seen we have seen what you have post This is rubbish and this is injustice Allahumma wafiqna lima turidu wa tarda Allahumma wafiqna lima turidu wa tarda saboda haka wannan shine sako Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya datar da mu ya mada tawfiqi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh